I don't need no winch for this. What the? What? G'day and welcome back to Expeditions. Alright, so in the last couple of episodes we've been focusing on some sort of deserty, canyony type areas. I think time for a bit of a change and we'll go to the Carpathians and uh, see what all this is about. Um, so I think we've only got the one unlocked at the moment. Yep, so that's the prologue. That's the starting one there. Um, so what do we need? We need a log station, uh, jack screw, and an anchor. And so, all right, so let's gear up for this. Take at least one truck. So we'll take this beast here. Um, all right, so we need one of these and one of those. And what else? Um, do you want to change the color? Let me just uh, that button there. What other colors have we got? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of any of them. <laughs> This doesn't go with the orange. Orange bull bar. What's that stock colour? Ah, I don't know. We'll just stick with that for now. I don't know. They, 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 I don't know if it's just those bull bars and the, the roof racks. Because they've got that orange on it. It just sticks out too much for me. Makes it look a bit odd. <laughs> Alright, so we've got that. So let's hire a guy here. Um, so we'll get him. Yeah, we'll grab that guy there. Log station. Alright, so let's uh, get straight into it, eh? Alright, so... Uh, Alright, this sounds good. Let's just get right into it. No more messing around. I want that car. Look at the bloody mud tires on it. <laughs> All right. So what do we need to do here? Visit, base, exit. Okay. And break off. So just some basic stuff here. Oh, such a refreshing sight. Like the green. Being in the desert a lot. Just really. I don't know. It's so bright. Like uh, building modules. Ooh. Lots of space here to build stuff. All right, not at the moment. Um, eventually, I do recommend getting these. In the early stages of the game, you don't need them, but once you start getting to the free roam aspect of it, uh, they do pay off, so let's pay to have them. Um, and what else are you going to spend your money on, eh? All right, so go to the viewpoint. Let's have a look. So where are we? We're here. I'm gonna go up there. Yeah, all bananas. This one's actually it does have sort of a path. I love how they do these sort of long paths here. Help with traction. I haven't turned all wheel drive on yet. This is crazy. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, uh, we'll just keep going up here. Alright, now what? Cross the dry shell. Looks like we need to head there, but we need to verify our heading first. Use binoculars to look around. Cross the dry shell, so we'll just head over here. Seems pretty straightforward. Again, I haven't needed the whack uh, all wheel drive on yet. <laughs> That's right, let's save a bit of fuel while I can. I think I'll start the struggle now. Yeah, I don't want that one. Stage complete. Oh, look at that. Driving up a mountain always has high risk of overturning the car, liable 
lower the tire pressure. So we're going through like the tutorial again by the looks of it. Um, all right, so once we get up here, all right, so what we'll do is back up a bit here, because I reckon, I reckon that spot there is the way to go. Just drop it right down. Ah, come on. Go straight. Idiot. Oh. I didn't need no winch for this. What the? What? Steer. There we go. I don't... Well, maybe I do need a winch. I'm hoping that's in the way. Eh, I don't need no winch. <laughs> there we go. No winch required. Alright, but I will. Put these up again. What we got here? Cargo supplies? Just knock over a tree. Alright, what do you got for us? Ooh, we've got goodies. Um, we go grab that. And that's worth the most. So we'll sell that. Um, while we're at it, let's have a look here. Don't need to repair anything. Do need to explore the area. Uh, which area do we need to explore? Is it here? Uh, so where are we? We're up here. So we need to go for a bit of a drive. Uh, let's grab the fuel then from here. So we'll, we'll take um, all of you. We'll just fill up. We don't need to repair the vehicles, so we won't worry about that. Just trying to turn my car around here. Without falling off the cliff. Okay, let's do this. Uh, hold on. Let me just put this down a bit. So I'm not bouncing around everywhere as I come down the hill. Oh, jeez, that view. up there. Generally what I do for the tire pressure is I normally try to keep it like pumped up as much as I can because it's just best for fuel efficiency. But I've noticed like when you start getting to the really rocky stuff you got start getting really bouncy when you got <laughs> full tires. And that's when I generally drop it. Oh what the hell? What the hell was that? Just hit something that I shouldn't have hit. Well, yeah, I just love how you just fully rough it in this game. I think that's the thing that people forget, like in SnowRunner, like um, a lot of the fun in games like that is making your own paths uh, for missions, like. I don't feel like you have to stick to the roads and stuff like that or the predefined paths because there's a lot of those in that particular game. Because it, it is funny, you will find some really cool detours really easy to do and it just blows you away sometimes. Um, can I get the drone out? Is that, that might be a bit better way to, to explore this. There we go. Got some logging going on over here. And there's the camp base up there. How far do I need to explore? 
I can't bring up my map in this either. Hmm, it hasn't changed. 74, so I'm wondering if I'm going the right way. Bad signal. Here we go, 80. Four, so probably up this way. Five, eighty-seven. Is that the water? Just logs, is it? Alright, hang on. What are we missing? Oh yeah, right over there. All right, let's drive a bit closer there then. Uh, I hope I'm going the right way. It's hard to tell which way my car's facing on this map. Like, I can't actually see the car. Like, I can see that. It doesn't tell me which way the vehicle's facing, which is very annoying. But, uh, what do we got? We've got water on the left of us. Alright, so we are facing that way, so we can go straight forward. Except there's something in the way there, but that's alright. We'll just go in here. I think we've got a road. Yep, the miners. I need to can we turn that off as well. Maybe a bit of fuel. Turn the all-wheel drive off. Alright, so I think we can't talk about this point. Yeah, let's have a look at our map again. Where are we now? Alright, so we're right on the edge here, but that's alright, because I reckon we might be able to cover this with the drone. It's just this area here, I think. We're getting a bad signal, eh? Point seven. Can't go any further that way. Ah, come on. 98. What the hell? It's that one bit we can't reach. All right. We're just going to have to rough it. Down there, you dingus. Right. Hmm. Right, so we're going to take a left here to where this logging is going on. Right, let's chuck on the little drive. down a couple of trees. Why not? No choose roadblocks, eh? Uh, let's have a look. Alright, now all right, I'm going to put a marker right here. Uh, yep. Let's get the bloody drone out now. Yep, up we go. Alright, so this area here is what it hasn't mapped out. There we go. Get the map out. Kill that waypoint. All right, now we can head home. Watch out for that water. Come oh, here. Do it. Don't do that. It's not on. <laughs> I, just, I just love going down trees sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially those small ones. Another path here as well. Oh, no. It's deep. Not that deep. Nothing we can't handle. Oh. Turn that off. Where do we have to go? Over here. There we go, deliver the surprise, yeah, there they go. Expedition complete. Uh, so what, we got a hydrologist now and an upgrade high range. Not a fan of the high range gearbox. 
Uh, that's taking 24 points. Item sold. Okay. We're starting to make some money. Starting to make some money. Right, let's have a look at the second mission. What have we got here? Stone faced. The local story about an ancient mason who created unique sculptures in the wilds. We learned that one of his creations is located not far from our base. Find this place as it may be a cultural heritage site. The expedition is successful. The customer will fund new outpost construction. Well, there you go. Um, what? The engine upgrade. All right, interesting. All right, so what do we need? Just a hydrologist. Let's see anything we need. We need one of these guys. So. Anwar. All right. See, we've taken these guys sometimes. Minus 100% water damage. The water. It means you can almost drive a water without taking any damage. Might have to science that. Um, what do we want to take? Now, I'm going to change it up for a bit. I want to take this one out for a, for a little bit. Let me just check its upgrades here. Uh, energy is obviously bolt on fenders. Why not, eh? Why not rear EMF rack? Hey, I was doing stuff here. Roof? We got a roof rack? <clears throat> uh, I've got that one. Bumper, sun visor. Need one of those. So, um, so what about in, uh, nothing we can do there? Stock a high range. High range gearbox for increased gear count, top speed, and fuel efficiency, expense, and lower strength. I'd rather have just a stock one, to be honest. Build the region to find it. Uh, have we got any other tires we have access to? Not really, unless we just want all terrains. Off roads are better. Do you want an extended winch, please? Can sell that as well. Yeah. That's right, that's fine. And I want that snorkel, not that one. We don't have any snorkel at the moment. Right, we'll put that one on there then. Fine. Done. Um, ooh, uh, hang on. We need to go back in there. Because I forgot to fill the roof rack. So here we go. Fuel. 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 And spare parts. There. Done. Because you only get 15 litres of fuel per um, canister. And it, it pays to take those spare parts. Um, this one I am going to take... Uh, a jack screw. All right. Um, I don't think I'll need an anchor for this. Because generally, if this thing is going to fall over, it's probably going to. Oh, I got to take it. Probably going to fall over. <laughs> it's not like my other car. The other car, when it falls over, it uh, lands on the side a lot. But uh, this one, like you can't start the engine on this one. The other one, you can start the engine. It doesn't always land completely flat. So, this one's a bit more of a in the butt. But, it's still a good one. I'm starting to like this vehicle. Um, right, done. Uh, yeah, that's it, I reckon. Yeah, I want that car. Car looks good. All right. Let's have a look at the map here. All right, so we've got to go to the exit, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Now, the reason I took this vehicle is when I come across an airdrop, I can take all the fuel and stuff on it, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> take a lot more stuff from an airdrop. 
which means we get more money at the end of it. So, um, and where are we going? We get too carried away. Yep, we'll break. Headlights. Oh, let's whack the off road on. Hit the wrong button. Where are you taking us? Across the Ford. Use binoculars ahead, see if there is a Ford. I didn't really forget to use the bloody binoculars before. <laughs> I think that's because I got interrupted by my cat. She, she thought she wants some pats, so I had to stop and restart, so I think that's why. What's that? There we go. Ford. Yeah, so I think I forgot to do some binocular work. I don't think it really matters. We got the job done in the end of it. Try to squeeze past this tree. Um, so, this looks like the safe spot to pass. Here. Uh, just stop bringing that one up. Give me that. So there's a deep spot there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this again. Yeah, it's definitely not the spot to cross there. One would hope. You can see the bottom of the computer there, so that's fine. Hang on. Hang on, go back. But do I take any damage from that? I don't think I do. Okay. So he completely negates water damage. But no, I'm. You might have to be submerged for a bit longer than that, but I didn't see the bar flashing or anything, it was just... Oof. I might have to put my tyre pressure down here because I'm bouncing around a lot. Stops you from being a bouncy bouncy kangaroo. So that, that's where you sort of notice it. So if you notice you're bouncing around, put the tyre pressure down a bit. Did not see what that said, but it obviously says go to the next point. <laughs> is he talking again? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> there we go. All right, start scanning. Oh, mini games. Look closer. We're looking for a head. Don't see no head there. Oh, look at that. Guy with a beard. Let's go that way. Interesting totem. Looks like someone used it as a sign to show routes. Yeah. All the nuts. Alright, so up here. Oof. Damage my vehicle a bit, but that's alright. It's fine. We'll buff out. Right, I'm going to put my tire pressure up here. Because there's not many rocks around. It's, it seems to be a pretty smooth surface. I mean, grass, but you know what I mean. There we go. Alright, now what have we got here? It's good that we have an echo sound that will help cross the swamp. We used it before to cross the ford. <sighs> All right, um, let's have a look then. That sticks in the way. All right, well, it seems to be the smart play would probably use this island here. OK, 
because what the hell am I stuck on? Oh god. Uh oh geez. Yeah. There's not much of a problem there. Uh I am going to drop my tire pressure a bit because we can be on the rocks around here. Yep, so we're halfway through there. Uh, let's just stop here for a sec. So there, yellow, which is manageable. We'll do that. Red is what we want to stay aware of. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think we take any damage. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I don't think it's doing any damage. I mean, it doesn't matter. We could probably go through the deepest parts and just pursue our way through there with not a, a worry in sight. All right, great job. This guy was less fortunate. You need good driving skills across swamps. And probably a better vehicle like that. I don't know. That does look like a four-wheel drive, though. So we might, might just be an idiot. Um, Okay, so we need to explore the areas. It's time to get the drone out again, I guess. Uh, device. You. Let's get up. Alright, so that's the centre there. So let's go south first. There we go. And zoom around here. Ah, there it is. Look at that. That's where we gotta go. Oh, we just need to scout this out anyway. Oh, I haven't seen any airdrops around. Maybe I'm not paying attention. Um, this way. Five. The vehicle's over there. Yeah, I need to miss some 70. Here we go. Yeah. And five. Where's that last little bit we haven't looked at? In the centre. It's probably right on the edge or something that I can't get to. Yeah, so we've got sort of this area up here. So let me just put a marker here for a sec. Because um, you can see that with it. The only problem is I wish you could clear out your waypoints with the uh, drone. Um, you can't, so I can't trigger that and make it disappear. So, so then I could set up multiple waypoints for the drone and go, yep, I want to go here, here, here. And have a look at this, this, and this. But right on the edge here, this is where... Oh, come on, 2%. There we go. All right, done. <laughs> Turn those lights off. Three percent is all we needed. Can we just push this out the way? Yeah. No? Yes, good. All right, so there's a big head up there. All right, so... Just take it easy. There we go, and there we are. And we're going to play the mini game again. Boink. Oh, wait for this one. Doink. He's a happy looking fellow, isn't he? Oh, oh I just got that one. There we go. Success. That's it, is it? 
That is. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Reckon knows at least five unknown points on the map. I didn't get that one. Well, that sucks. Oh, and uh, looks like we cash in everything we didn't use anyway. So there we go. Back to headquarters. All right. Well, I'm going to leave the episode there for now. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more. Very important. Let me know in the comments. I want to see more comments, people. Leave something there. Say hello. Say good day. All right. And I'll respond. I've, I read every comment. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. There.